If you use OBS for online meetings, you can extend it with many free tools. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an animated lower thirds like this. Let's get started. The tool is available at the OBS project website. I have included a link in the video description. Click on the link and it should take you to the tool. Click on the download button. Next, click open. This will open the zip folder that contains the file that we require for the lower third tool. Click on the extract to button and choose a folder on your PC where you want to extract the files. In our case, let's put it on the desktop and click OK. Next, go to your desktop and we can see that the downloaded files are three folders. Select all of them and right click and copy. Next, navigate to the folder where OBS is installed. Normally, this will be in your program files, OBS Studio and right click and paste. And you should have these three folders, common, logos and lower third. The folder that makes the tool work is this one called the lower thirds and it has two HTML files. Let's see how we can use them. The first thing we need to do is to install the user interface for us to use the lower thirds. And you do that by clicking on the view docs, custom browser docs and give a name to your doc. Let's call it lower third. Next, you need the location where the HTML file is stored. Go to the folder where you had pasted the HTML files and select control panel.html and double click on it. This will give us the link to the source. Press control C to copy the link, then go to OBS and press control V to paste the link. You need to remove the first part of the link which has the word file and only keep the link starting from the drive letter. In my case, it's in D drive and click apply. We now have the user interface to start creating our lower third. You can move the dock around and you can even place the dock within the main interface of OBS. The next thing you want to do is to add a source on your scene to show the lower third. You do that by clicking on the plus sign in your sources and choose browser source. Give a name and click OK. For the source, go to the folder which has the HTML file browser source, double click it Click on the link and press Ctrl C to copy this link. Go back to OBS and paste the link here. As in the previous case, remove the first part of the link which has the word file. For the resolution, give the same resolution that you are using for your scene. In my case, I am using HD resolution which is 1920 by 1080. Scroll down and you can enable shut source when not visible and to refresh the browser when the scene becomes active. Once you do that, click OK. Now that you have added the browser source, go to your doc, enter the name and the title that you want to show as your lower third. When you click on Enable, the lower third will appear on your scene. This doc allows you to configure up to four lower thirds and with each lower third, you can configure up to 10 names. Each lower third can have its own theme of colors, fonts, and logos. You can change the timing sequence of how long the lower third will stay on your screen by going to main settings and click on the global times. The first section indicates how long it will take for the lower third to appear on your scene. In my case, I have set it to four seconds. The second setting indicates how long the lower third should stay on the screen. And the third section indicates how long the lower third should stay inactive on your screen. If you click on the show more button, there are additional settings that you can play around with, including changing the logo. To change the colors of your lower third, you can use the plus sign and define the background color by clicking on it and you can change the color to any color that you want and it will automatically change the background color. If you want to change the color of the line that separates the logo and the text, you can change color one and again, choose any color that you want and it will change the color accordingly. Similarly, you can change the color of the 
top line and the bottom line by changing the colors from this section. The logo can be changed by clicking on the button here and choose the image from your computer and that will show as the logo. There are additional settings that you can play around with but this in essence is how the lower third works. You need to download those two HTML files, place them in the OBS folder and create the doc and the browser source and you are done. Have fun playing with the lower thirds in your stream or while you are doing an online meeting.